I've got two coupons here. The first one is a two for five beef and cheddar classic sandwich. And the second one is three for five roast beef classic sandwiches. Anything else today? Yeah, let me get two medium curly fries. All right, guys, I had to stop by Arby's. I got me a classic beef and cheddar. And it's one of my favorite sandwiches. And it's got, you know, the cheddar on it. And it's got their Arby sauce on it. But uh, let me give this a little shot here. Mmm. Scrumptious. How's yours, Mom? Oh, really good. Mm. Great. I'll tell you what, though, guys. I think I'm going to try to uh, make these for you Sunday. And, and I'm going to put my spin on it. And I'm actually going to, I think, what, Save a Lot had, what, what is it, Ive Round? Mm hmm i've ran on sale for like 2.99 a pound so i'm gonna go get some of that and i'm gonna smoke it with some pecan wood do a little bit of an injection with it and do up some uh i'll probably swing by the walmart and get some frozen uh uh, uh curly fries i love these two they're delicious <clears throat> all right guys we'll see you in a bit Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time to come over and visit with me. Over on Fritz is Cooking Again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Sunday. So I reckon y'all know what time it is, guys. Time for another Sunday cook, my friends. And what I want to do for y'all today is basically I want to try to recreate one of my favorite sandwiches out there, guys. And that's the Arby's Beef and Cheddar. Man, I just love those things to death. And uh, I remember when we first got our Arby's here in Fern Creek, Kentucky. It was way back in the day. I believe I was, I was probably 18 or 19 when we got our first Arby's here. And, man, the, I fell in love with that uh, the beef and cheddar the minute I tasted it and I love those curly fries too but uh, anyway guys like I'm saying I want to put my spin on things I've done a, a couple of recreation videos on here I did uh, a White Castle video uh, where I made some sliders and I think they turned out really well and I did the Big Fritz <laughs> my recreation on the Big Mac and I think that actually turned out great as well but guys what I want to do for y'all tonight is like I said recreate put my spin on it this by no means is good. This is going to be Fritz's spin on the beef and cheddar. And what we've got here is I found a, a Ive Round on sale at the Save a Lot for less than three dollars, guys. So I, I believe I, I believe it was a seven pound one that I bought. And as soon as I got it home, I sliced it in half and I shrunk wrap uh, both sides of it. And I got the other one down in the deep freeze for another recipe to come here shortly. But uh, anyway, guys, what I want to do is. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it injected. And what I'm actually going to utilize, guys, is some of this Tony Sacheries. I had some of this left over. The, uh, the roasted uh, garlic and herb. I love this stuff, guys. And I'm actually going to utilize a little bit of uh, beef broth as well to inject into it. And we're going to coat it with some Chicago steak seasoning. Um, basically, they have their own cheese sauce. They put that like a dollop of it on the top of their onion roll and we're going to serve it on these pepperidge farm onion rolls they put a little dollop on the uh, on the onion roll on the top and they actually take their uh, rv special sauce here and they put a little bit on the bottom and then they put three ounces of the uh the roast beef the rv's roast beef on it guys i think we can go a little bit one better than that we're going to put uh several ounces of pecan wood smoked uh, uh eye round on it and we're going to have it along with some of these Arby's curly fries seasoned curly fries one of my favorites man and uh, guys I just got myself a brand new Nesco food slicer here and I'm gonna actually do a review on that later but I want to actually see how it actually works first and I'm gonna bring you all along for the ride on that so I hope you enjoy all right guys let's go ahead and get prepped up and I want to go ahead and get this uh, injected and seasoned up really well and then I'm gonna shrink wrap it back again and I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator for several hours and then we'll get the pit fired up out there. Guys, I can't thank you enough for watching my videos. I certainly do appreciate it. And I reckon we're going to holler at y'all just a bit. All right, guys, we'll holler at you a bit. Bye-bye.
Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time to come over here and visit with me. I'm Ron Fritz is cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Sunday, so I reckon y'all know what time it is, guys. Time for another Sunday cook, my friends. And what I want to do for y'all today is basically I want to try to recreate one of my favorite sandwiches out there, guys, and that's the Arby's Beef and Cheddar. Man, I just love those things to death, and uh, I remember when we first got our Arby's here in Fern Creek, Kentucky. It was way back in the day. I believe I was, I was probably 18 or 19 when we got our first Arby's here, and man, the, I fell in love with that uh, the Beef and Cheddar the minute I take tasted it and I love those curly fries too but uh, anyway guys like I'm saying I want to put my spin on things I've done a, a couple of recreation videos on here I did uh, a White Castle video uh, where I made some sliders and I think they turned out really well and I did the Big Fritz <laughs> my recreation on the Big Mac and I think that actually turned out great as well but guys what I want to do for y'all tonight is like I said recreate put my spin on it this by no means is get, this is going to be Fritz's spin on the beef and cheddar. And what we've got here is I found uh, uh, Ive Round on sale at the Save a Lot for less than three dollars, guys. So I, I believe I, I believe it was a seven pound one that I bought. And as soon as I got it home, I sliced it in half and I shrunk wrap uh, both sides of it. And I got the other one down in the deep freeze for another recipe to come here shortly. But uh, anyway, guys, what I want to do is. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it injected. What I'm actually going to utilize, guys, is some of this Tony Sacheries. I had some of this left over. The, uh, the roasted uh, garlic and herb. I love this stuff, guys. And I'm actually going to utilize a little bit of uh, beef broth as well to inject into it. And we're going to coat it with some Chicago steak seasoning. Um, basically, they have their own cheese sauce. They put that, like a dollop of it, on the top of their onion roll and we're going to serve it on these Pepperidge Farm onion rolls. They put a little dollop on the uh, on the onion roll on the top and they actually take their uh, RV special sauce here and they put a little bit on the bottom and then they put three ounces of the uh, the roast beef, the Arby's roast beef on it. Guys, I think we can go a little bit one better than that. We're going to put uh, several ounces of uh, pecan wood smoked uh, uh, eye round on it and we're going to have it along with some of these Arby's curly fries seasoned curly fries one of my favorites man and uh, guys I just got myself a brand new Nesco food slicer here and I'm gonna actually do a review on that later but I want to actually see how it actually works first and I'm gonna bring you all along for the ride on that so I hope you enjoy all right guys let's go ahead and get prepped up and I want to go ahead and get this uh, injected and seasoned up really well and then I'm gonna shrink wrap it back again and I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator for several hours and then we'll get the pit fired up out there. Guys, I can't thank you enough for watching my videos. I certainly do appreciate it. And I reckon we're going to holler at y'all just a bit. All right, guys, we'll holler at you a bit. Bye-bye.
All right, guys, we got the smoker rolling. Let's go ahead and get our Ive Roundup on here. I've got my two water baths in. I've got my uh, Maverick probe, my uh, pit probe in. And now what we're going to do is actually insert our other probe into the meat. Like so. And what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to shoot for an internal temperature of roughly about 140 degrees. I really don't want to go over that, so I'm going to monitor it. All right, guys, let's get this lid on there and get to cooking. All right, y'all, we'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, I almost forgot again to add my water to my pan here. Like I said, I've got my two uh, water pans down below here. And uh, this is just my method to the madness. Uh, you don't really have to do this, I guess, but I like to add a little water to it. All right, guys, I think we're looking good in the neighborhood. What do you think, Sarge? Huh? <laughs> Are you ready to pull this thing? Guys, uh, we're running at uh, 138. Uh, medium rare is uh, 140 uh, rare is 125 so I opted for medium rare and it's going to continue to cook uh, while I got it wrapped in the aluminum foil here and I'm going to let it rest for several hours before I go carving on it but uh, anyway guys let me uh, get over here and we'll get this thing pulled guys it looks good oh my goodness Oh yeah guys take a peek at that bad boy yum diddly yum all right guys I got her all wrapped up here and what I'm gonna do is put it down into my Tupperware container like so get the lid on that dude and I'm gonna put it down there in the downstairs refrigerator and we're gonna let this thing chill out for several hours before we go slicing on it all right, guys, well, I can't wait to get back with you and use that slicer and show you what we got. All right, y'all. All right, guys, we have our beautiful uh, eye round uh, roast that we uh, actually smoked out on my char griller 5050 with some pecan wood that we injected with some Tony Satchery's and, and a little bit of uh, beef broth, and we kind of rubbed it down with some steak seasoning. And I'm here to tell you guys, it smells magnificent. And I got that thing up to about 138, so it's going to be medium rare. So... Guys, let me cut into this, and then we're going to get it over on our slicer. Now, this is the first time I've done this, and I'm hoping it's going to turn out good for y'all. All right, guys. Now, I've let it chill for several hours. Oh, my God. Look at that. Is that not a work of art or what? I'm here to tell you it just smells so good. Here comes Sarge. <laughs> you know you're going to get some, boy. Man, oh man, oh man, sakes alive. All right, guys, we're ready to get this party started. I've got the uh, Nesco all cleaned up, and this is going to be our first run with this thing, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and get our meat set here. Doesn't that look grand? All right. And what I do, I guess I'll take this dude here. And like I said, this is the first time I've used it. And I guess kind of lock it in there a little bit. And uh, all right, guys, let me get another angle. Okay, guys, I reckon we're ready to get started with my new Nesco food slicer here. And it's the first time I've ever used this. So bear with me. I may have to make a few adjustments. And like I said, it's the first time I've ever done the, uh, the eye of round as well. And uh, I'm here to tell you, it's driving me freaking crazy. I think Sarge is going to lose it. But uh, let's go hot here, guys. <laughs>
South Hurst Ford Parkway, Meyer. You've reached our automated system. Here are your options. Please tell me which one you'd like. Location information or a department. Department. All right. Party store. No. Is that correct? No. Which department do you want? Delhi. All right. Delhi. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. I'll connect your call. One moment, please. Can I help you, please? Yes, ma'am. I was wondering how much your uh, thinly sliced uh, roast beef costs, Pam. Okay, which brand? Uh, the Myers brand is nine ninety nine. The Armor Deli or the Armor roast beef is eight ninety nine. And the Myers uh, Deep Swatch and London Broil is twelve ninety nine. Oh, okay. The London Broil is twelve ninety nine. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow, guys. All right, guys, we're about ready to get started on uh, on our beef and cheddar here, Fritz's beef and cheddar, and it's going to be simple, easy, and quick. But uh, I went ahead and I toasted off my my onion rolls with a little bit of butter on top, and I've got our uh, our curly fries done. So I've just got them in the oven; it's still warm in there. And what I've done, guys, is I took and I took the remainder of the beef broth that I had left, and I've got it in a skillet, and I brought it up to a boil. Now, basically, all I'm going to do is just kick it back to low. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take, take our beef here and we're going to go ahead and start getting it in there. And all I'm basically doing, guys, is just warming it through. Doesn't that look great? I guess you could do it in the microwave, but I think this is going to add a little bit more flavor to it. And it won't take long at all. Alright guys, we got our beef done. We got our uh, onion rolls done. And basically I'm ready to start assembling. This is going to be a piece of cake. All I'm going to do is take some of the Arby sauce and put it on the bottom bun, on the heel. Just like so. All right, guys. Now we're going to take the beef, put it on. Just like so. All right. Now what we're going to do is take some of our cheese, put it on the top. Cap it, dude. And we are good to go, guys. Good to go. Now those are Fritz's barbecue beef and cheddars. How about that? All right, guys, let me get this rounded up, and we're going to meet y'all at the table. All right. All right, guys, here is my homage to the uh, Arby's beef and cheddar, one of my favorite sandwiches. And this is the, uh, like I said, the Fritz's barbecue beef and cheddar. And I think I did a pretty good job on these guys.
we got our curly fries. We're, we're starving here, guys. Let me get plated up. We're going to get right back with you. All right, guys. We are all plated up now. Looks like Mama's getting ready to dig in. <laughs> oh, that try, looks good. Try some. Mm. How is it? Wow. It's got a smoky flavor to mm -hmm. it, too. It's great. You really like it? Well, those Arby's on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want to abuse Arby's, but uh, I'm here to tell you that beef is something else. So you really do like it? Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. It's delicious. Mmm. All right, guys. Going in. Mmm. Wow. Mm. That's really good, isn't it? Sure is. And guys, this didn't this didn't cost me hardly anything at all to make. And I think I had it on the smoker for maybe what about three and a half hours maybe. And uh piece of cake to prepare. And I'm here to tell you that half, that three and a half pound, uh, it was roughly three and a half to four pounds. I'm not positive. But that would be enough to feed, I'd probably say, what do you think, a uh, family of six? Mm -hmm. But, um, man, it's delicious. Sure is tender, too. Mm. I think doing it in that beef broth. Mm-hmm. Was pretty daggone, pretty daggone good. All right, guys, let me get one of my curly fries. Mm. 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 I got some horsey there. Well, oh, you want Arby sauce, don't you? Yeah. Mom's not a big horsey fan. But, guys, I know this was an epic adventure, and uh, but I had a blast shooting this. This is like one of my favorite videos I've shot so far, and I'm really having fun. And and guys, I want to thank you all for stopping by and visiting with me and, and, and you know, commenting to me when you can. But uh, a lot of times I'll turn my comments off, guys, because I don't really have time to comment back to you all. And... I don't expect nobody to come over and leave me something nice to say and I can't say nothing nice back in return. It's nothing being mean or hateful or anything like that. That's just what it's about. And I hope y'all understand that. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, y'all got to get out and try this. This is one easy peasy recipe. And I think Sarge is loving it too. So anyway, I've got the, uh, the Nesco... Uh, uh, meat cutter that we sliced it with the slicer. I've got a, a review of that coming up and uh, Like I said, I've done a couple of reviews I've done the White Castle where I made uh, homemade White Castles and I made the Big Fritz the homemade Big Mac and I'll have links at the end of the uh, video and all you got to do is uh, click the picture and it'll transport you right over there As for this long cook, it's probably gonna be a I'd say at least a 20 at least 20 minutes probably longer um, I'm gonna actually do a short version of this as well, and I'm I'm hoping y'all come back and visit with me on that as well. But anyway, guys, like I said, I'm having a blast. I'm running on here, and I got to get busy. All right, guys, we're gonna holler at y'all soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye.